Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Amber Murray and I bring you the best in beauty, branding, and behind the scenes. And we're talking about TikTok today. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that I've been supposed to make this exact video. I was supposed to make the video when I hit 10K, now I'm almost at 40K. If you wanna know how to go viral on TikTok and be an internet sensation, then you go black, stretch Bugatti and it's sitting on me. Oh, something okay, like that. So here's the tea, guys. TikTok is the fastest growing, most relevant platform ever right now. You have the potential to become an overnight sensation by a couple clicks of um, the finger and a post button. So yes, I am almost at 40,000 followers on TikTok, which is amazing. I love the platform. I love the community that I'm building over there. People are so, so sweet. And it's probably one of the best platforms I've ever personally been on as a viewer. So you guys know I don't like Twitter. I'm not a fan of Twitter. Twitter is a scary place. People are mean there. TikTok would be the opposite of that. So people on TikTok are so sweet and so willing to share their lives with you guys. And I try to compare it to, do you remember back in the day when people would love to like sit on their porches and people watch or sit in the malls and like watch people go by? I was one of those people. Um, in the same way, that's what TikTok is. It's a, it's a, window into people's lives but it's instant so it's a lot like a mini youtube for me and i freaking love youtube but aside from it being a social platform it is a has a huge market and window for businesses and brands to build on that platform and as you guys know all platforms work interjectively together and you have so many opportunities to cross pollinate with tiktok and it has just been a huge blessing. And did you guys know that you can monetize on TikTok? So that's exactly what I'm going to talk to you about right now. I'm going to share some screenshots up here. I just joined the Creator Studio and I don't know what took me so long. Honestly, I let too much negative feedback get into my head because I watched a lot of videos on TikTok that were like, don't um, join the Creator Fund, your views are gonna drop. And I'm going to break down why I think that happens and how you can allow the algorithm to work for you. But most of all, most importantly, you have to be having fun. Otherwise, it means nothing. So as you see here, this is what I made for the first four days of joining the Creator Fund, averaging like six to seven dollars at the lowest. At the most, it was almost thirty dollars a day. So the way I look at it is TikTok is going to pay my car note. That's the way I'm looking at it. TikTok is going to pay my car note one day. TikTok is going to pay my house note. Um, but here's the thing. Everybody wants to go viral. You can have a post on TikTok where you're like spilling slime in your vehicle all over your carpet and that could potentially go viral and you could have 60,000 followers overnight with 4 million views. But to go viral on one post isn't the same as becoming viral or becoming a huge creator on that platform. How you do that is to become a common interest. Let's talk about it. So anybody can go viral with one post, right? But if every post after your viral post has nothing to do with what got the eyes on you to begin with, your views are going to drop dramatically. Now, how you can avoid that is branding just like in any other marketing arena. You have to focus on a niche. You don't have to niche down so tightly to where you're only focusing on like one type of demographic and one type of industry or community. You don't have to niche down that tightly, but... It is important to have a general couple things that suit your personality so that your followers and viewers know what they can expect for you in terms of consistency. So for me, you guys know, I'm going to bring you the best in beauty, branding, and behind the scenes. That's going to be the same on almost all of my platforms, even like on TikTok and, you know, YouTube. Some of the behind the scenes that you see from me, of course, yeah, you might see me having like my coffee routine or, you know day in the life type stuff but it's still relevant to my industry and my you know viewers know that that's what you're going to get from me now if one day i was doing um you know behind the scenes of being an influencer digital marketer creative artist that type of thing and then the next day you see me telling you how to take apart a bicycle my views on that post are going to drop because people are like what is she doing i mean you might watch it for comedy and satire but overall you're going to be like i'm not here for watching you take apart a bike 
In the same way, build a community or or in, inject yourselves into communities that are like-minded and benefit you. You guys know I love working with super feminine, super power, powerful, um, you know, ambitious women. Like that is my target market. On the internet and off of the internet, those are the type of people I like to surround myself with. People who are ambitious, people who are of good character, people who are authentic. And that's what I like to align myself with on all platforms. So the reason why I tell you guys to join the Creator Fund whenever it's beneficial for you to do so is because your views are going to fluctuate anyways. On TikTok, just like every other platform, TikTok is a business, you know? So whenever you have like one video that goes viral, of course, TikTok is going to be pushing it out to everybody because it benefits you in terms of views, but it benefits them in terms of bingeability for other viewers. At the end of the day, TikTok wants to keep everyone on the platform as long as possible. So if they notice that you're putting out content that people continue to rewatch or they share or they engage as much to put a comment, TikTok even knows how many words and characters are put in the comment to see how invested people are in you. So everything comes down to analytics and everything comes down to marketing and strategy. Now, why you will have some videos that go super viral and some that just get like average views is because it's a lot like a casino. So think about it in terms of if you don't go to a casino and you put $2 in that machine and you cash out the jackpot of $50,000, do you think that that machine's going to allow you to hit $50,000 two times in a row? Maybe. What's the odds of you hitting it three times in a row? very small. You know that the machines as a whole are going to tighten down on that machine and they're going to make you work for it. TikTok is the same way. Until you become a common interest, how you do that is continue to hit that jackpot, continue to put out content that is authentic and relevant and of value to your viewers, whether that be in teaching them something that they can learn, having them laugh, having them interact, that's a value to them. Having them invested in your story, that's a value to them. The longer you continue that consistency, the more TikTok is going to push out your content, not only to new viewers, but as new viewers are seeing it and they're hitting the follow button, whenever you come up in their following side, they're continuing to be invested over there. But whenever you come into the For You page side, people see, oh my gosh, I love this. She's talking about how to maintain blonde hair color. Then they click onto your page, they follow, and then they start going through your content and every video is similar or of value, whether it be funny or valuable in terms of content relatability or a hack for them, something that they can use and in incorporate into their daily lives that is of value, they will continue to watch and subscribe. And every time you have that engagement like that where people are seeing you on for you page clicking on it and then seeing watching a lot more of your videos and commenting and liking and stuff or sharing TikTok is like wow this person is a common interest this is someone who we can put out to a lot of different people that have this particular want or need or interest and they are going to find value in that creator sorry my dog's barking cartel stop Okay, sorry about that, guys. My dog was barking. Y'all know cartel, love of my life. But anyways, so back to becoming a common interest. That's how you do it, and that's how you go viral on TikTok. So while um, followers are kind of important, I want you guys to, to focus more on engagement. So I know people who have a ton of followers, and they don't have very high engagement. So the way you get paid on TikTok has a lot to do with a bunch of influencing factors. They're not going to pay you strictly on the fact that you have a lot of followers. They're not going to pay you strictly on the fact that, um, you know, you have engagement. It's like an algorithmic thing that like all works interjectorally and there's a lot of moving, moving parts. Um, it's very multifaceted into your pay-per-view like your sent per view I don't even know how to do it I allow them to do that I think it's like a computer software that figures that out for them but this is what I try to explain to people so many are being caught up in like algorithm they're like oh my gosh I'm fighting against the algorithm same thing on Instagram they're like the algorithm sucks let me explain something to you guys allow the algorithm to work for you I had a video where I talked about how to grow on YouTube and how YouTube is the second biggest search engine Everything that everyone puts in their phones, what we say, everything plays into the algorithms. But um, 
I'm an algorithm buyer and I love algorithms. I love for them to work for me. They take a lot of the guesswork out of things for me. They help me find stuff for my personal use. Think about it in the same way. If you know that you're putting content out onto the internet that is of value and you know that you're creating good, good quality content, allow the algorithm to work for you and just give it time. Don't focus so much on followers. Um, focus more on engagement, true engagement, a community of people who are invested in you and your story and what you have to offer. So um, for instance, if I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I really want, um, you know, those new Nike 270s, you know, the white ones with like the tan bottom. I really would love those. And I'm talking to my friend, I'm talking to you guys. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want those so bad. Next thing you know, I jump on Facebook and I'm scrolling. And guess what comes up? <gasps> Academy or Finish Line or Foot Locker. And guess what the first pair of shoes are? My Nikes, all white, 270s with the tan bottoms. I can quickly click on it. Takes me directly to the storefront um, online location. Add to cart, boom, buy at my house in four days. That's how the algorithm works for you. So that is why it's called the For You page or the For You Explorer on you, on um, uh, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's because it's directly created for you. So know that whenever you're coming up on the For You page, the people who are seeing that content is because it's relevant to what their interests are. So just know that the algorithm isn't terrible. Um, it can really work for you in a lot of the ways. Guys, my hair is so, this is my natural texture. I just shampooed it. But um, anyway, so that's what I have to say about that. I want you guys to be encouraged to continue creating. Create content that is true and authentic to you because people will fall in love with who you are. Don't over edit. Don't over filter yourself. And I'm not talking about actual filters. I'm talking about the filters that we put on in terms of changing who we are so that people are like us more. Play big. The people who are meant for you, they're going to find you. And that's okay if people don't like you. Not You can't force everyone to have good taste. And um, with that being said, if you're still here, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you engage with this. Leave me a comment in the description down below and let me know if I've offered you some insight that you maybe didn't know about. And follow me on TikTok at XO Duchess, her grace, if you will. Um, no, but seriously, guys, just have fun. Just be you. And make sure that whenever you're on the platform, also that you're being social. It's called social media for a reason. It's not meant for you to get on there and post content and want everyone to do for you and you not do for everybody else. Have creators that you genuinely are invested in as well. Pay attention to what's trending and what's viral. Whenever there's a new challenge, use that um, sound. Even if you're going to do like a voiceover, have your original sound be like at 100 in volume and then have the viral sound at like 7 or 12. So it's just like a little bit of background noise because that way when people who are searching that sound, your content has a better chance to come up. Um, make sure you're using relevant hashtags on TikTok. That's another way to make sure that you're being seen in the algorithm um, and making sure the algorithm works for you. If you do a blonde, blonde balayage, make sure you're hashtagging blonde balayage. Now, on this flip side, if you um, are doing a makeup routine and that's what your entire video is about, but the most trending hashtag is the Chobani flip, if you don't know what Chobani Flip is, nine times out of 10, it doesn't apply to your video. Don't use that hashtag. In the beginning, you could get away with it. Now, don't do it. Just use stuff that is relevant to your content and you will be successful. And as a matter of fact, leave your guys' TikTok um, usernames in my comments and I will follow you all back. I'll come back whenever we hit 50K and talk to you more then. But until then, guys, bye.